editing me here popping in for a quick second because it turns out I'm posting this video on the sixth birthday of The Sims 4. So happy birthday The Sims 4. I hope we get something good today. We'll see. But anyways, happy birthday The Sims 4 and now on to the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kyla and today we are doing a custom content haul in The Sims 4. I play with a lot of custom content in my game and I even have a CC Finds block which you're seeing here. For this month's video I am showcasing custom content pieces as well as mods that I have downloaded over the course of the past four months. At first, this haul was going to be a little smaller than the one I did last time, but I ended up downloading a few more items before the end of the month, so it's a little bit bigger than I expected it to be. I will have a link to this summary post down in the description box below. It will have everything that I'm showcasing off today and everything is free and mostly Max's match. Other than that, let's jump into the game and actually showcase each of these items. Okay, here we are in Cass. This is Tanya Hall. If you watched my last custom contents haul video, then she will look kind of familiar, although her hair and clothes have changed. And then down here in the corner, this is Tony Hall. I'll be showing him very quickly because I didn't download a lot of male custom content. The only male custom content I ended up downloading were these pants by Ridgeport. This is Tony Hall. These are the pants that I downloaded. So here I have them in green, but they come in all sorts of colors. Like this blue one is really pretty. Also, I have a different version. There's two of them. So that one was the high waist. This is the low waist. And you notice here that the belt is black instead of brown. And that's because of a belt overlay. Here's the overlay that I mentioned. It just comes in a brown belt and then the buckle can also change. There is like a brown belt and then also a silver buckle. So you can just layer those two. But I like the sort of gold and brown touches of that brown belt. So that's it from Tony. He is just this. <laughs> just these two items for the male cast but for the female cast we have a lot to get through again we have these pants by Ridgeport these shoes are from Green Llamas from Bratz collection I have a whole lot of items from that collection and I absolutely absolutely adore this collection this one is by Story Legacy Sims it is a beautiful sweater I love this one so much for her hair we have the Chloe hair from the Bratz collection it's just this sleek straight hair really really pretty and then I also have some eyeshadow on her that is well you can actually see her lashes there but if you ignore that part and just take a peek at that pink eyeliner that is from the savvy sweet and grim collaboration grim cookies collaboration so those that is what that beautiful liner is there i also have the eyeshadow version on her in this one right now it's the black one so it's kind of faded but that is what the blue would look like and then the eyeliner just to highlight it even more moving on to her second outfit here i'm using the msq eyeshadow it has a bunch of vibrant colors and then this hat is from the green llamas brats collection and the hair is the same chloe hair as for her top this is from a harris double o britney right here and it is from the eco lifestyles add-on pack and it has the distressed design on it and comes in a bunch of different colors I really love this green color on her. The other two items are the same from the first one. The shoes are just in a different color. Next, we have another shirt from A Harris Double O Brittany. It is this shirt right here. It comes in again a bunch of lovely colors. This is from their Eco Lifestyle add-on pack. And the hair is from Green Llamas Bratz collection. It is this hair right here. And you can actually change the color of the bandana in the accessories section like orange for example beautiful as for makeup she's still wearing the savvy and grim collections makeup 
This one, she is wearing the Catwalk Eyeshadow Palette from Cryptic Sims. I absolutely adore this palette. Look at that vibrant highlight and colors there. It has a bunch of different color combinations and it's basically the same palette and it's absolutely gorgeous. As for her hair, this is from the Green Llamas Brats Collection. It is the jade hair right here. And in this photo, there is a green stripe. I will be showing you that stripe in her next outfit. But this shirt is the same shirt as the outfit before, just in a cropped and ruffled version. And this one here is the striped. You can change that in the hair accessories section and it comes in a bunch of different colors. This whole outfit is from the Coven Collection of Green Llamas. It comes in a bunch of different colors, so the first few ones are plaid. I really like the blue. It's a two-piece set, basically, but it's just this little crop top layered on top of a long sleeve white shirt. The matching bottom is a skirt that comes in the same pattern, so you could definitely match it pretty accurately, and I love the shape and the little slit. It's so gorgeous. Here is the hair accessory that I was mentioning for this one you can change it into different colors just like even a slightly lighter color from her hair here okay so this is her next outfit this is the Chloe hair again from the green llamas brats collection and this is also from the brats collection so it comes in a bunch of different colors for the top and some of the skirt colors change as well so like this one is the yellow one very pretty I love the vertical line detail there's the orange and I really love this blue Antonia okay this next outfit is from the Bratz collection, the top and bottom. These are two different pieces. So we have here, this is from the Bratz collection. It comes in a few different colors, sort of the normal jean style. And this top, it's a beautiful corset top with a little covering on top. So kind of modest, but also very much not. It comes in a bunch of different patterns. There's an army one. There's just some plain ones, absolutely beautiful. And her hair is from the Savvy Sweet and Grim, Grim Cookies collaboration. It's just this sleek, straight bob. Next, we have this hair, also by Savvy Sweet and Grim Cookies. It is a very, very nice texture. I really like it. And then I really love the middle part. It's a part that's not often in The Sims game, so I really enjoy it. This skirt is from actually also the Bratz collection. Comes in a few different colors, absolutely beautiful. And this shirt is also from the Bratz collection. It's just absolutely gorgeous in this yellow color, but this is the thumbnail for it and it comes in a bunch of beautiful colors but I really like the yellow in her so I'm gonna keep her in that yellow. Next we have this other top in the Bratz collection. I really love this split color dynamic. It's really pretty and it has a few of those. I love this green. Wow. And then of course it has just some plain colored ones. These pants are also from the Bratz collection. They have a few striped details and of course the good old army one. And of course some plain solid colors. They're more of like these cargo pants look and feel and I really dig that. This hair is by Savvy Sweet and Grim Cookies. I love the high pony look. Next, this is from the Savvy Sweet and Grim Cookies collaboration. It is this full body corduroy suit. I love it in this deep green color. I also have a choker on her from the same collaboration. It comes in a bunch of metallic colors. Absolutely beautiful. Besides the green, we also have it in this rich yellow color, more of a mustard orange mix together as well as this peachy pink. My goodness, you can really see the corduroy detail and like the lines in this pink color, but I just love the depth of this green. Next, we have this long sleeve dress. It also has a little bit of a turtleneck action right here. This is also from Savvy Sweet and Grim Cookies. It's from that collaboration and comes in the same rich colors as the corduroy suit. So here it is in the pink to show off some details. Absolutely beautiful. But I really love the richness of their deeper, darker colors. Next one is like this long hoodie. I really love it because it seems like something just you would wear to bed. Sort of super casual, super nice 
and I love the colors that it comes in. It's so vibrant and beautiful. The next dress we have is still by Savvy Sweet and Grim Cookies. It's this long dress with a huge slit on the side, which is beautiful. So that kind of dresses this dress up. But I also love the little zipper detailing here and it comes in again the same colors as the hoodie as before. So here's it in the green and the black. Beautiful. This collaboration was so good and so well done. It has so many good colors. Like this is another one from them. So we have this little crop top that's super casual, super fun. Comes in the same vibrant colors. And then these pair of shorts are also from that collaboration. It is high-waisted shorts with some pocket detailing, a little bit of uneven strings, which is super realistic. And I love the little detailing at the bottom of the shorts. It also comes in the same colors as the top, so you can have a completely matching set if you would like. Look at that. How cute is that? This is the cropped version of that super long hoodie from Savvy Sweet and Grim Cookies. Here it is in the red. Oh, so pretty. And these are the straight up just corduroy pants. It comes in the same colors as the corduroy pants from the suit. And you can even match it. So you can dress up a super casual outfit. I love it. Here we have this super duper high-waisted skirt from Savvy Sweet and Grim Cookies. It has a very nice slit on the side. It comes in those same vibrant colors as before. And even this little turtleneck number it's actually a bodysuit so right here i will remove the skirt very quickly but right there you can see that it's a bodysuit here it is in the pink color to show off some detailing of the sweater it's super cute here we have the cropped version of that bodysuit look at that it has still the beautiful detailing and it has a matching skirt so you can match it if you want to or have it in two different colors but it's still exactly the same absolutely gorgeous savvy sweet and grim cookies really delivered this is a skirt from them in the same colors as the corduroy outfit and this top is the distressed tee by story legacy sims comes in a few colors inspired by eco lifestyles in that vibe nice distressed look in some modest places but it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that ripping on the edge. Here, I have the same skirt by Grim Cookies and Savvy Sweet, and this top is by Ridgeports. It's her Se Seychelles top. Comes in a bunch of muted and beautiful colors. It has a slit at the back right here, a big hole that you can see in the thumbnail, and the colors are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that cream. Oh, so beautiful. With that all said, let's jump into the main game, into build and buy mode, and I will show you the build and buy objects. Here is a big fat overview of all of the build and buy objects that I downloaded for the past four months. Since I already have a sim outside, I'm gonna start out here at the pool. These are functional pool slides by necro dogs they actually do work here is a small little clip of gameplay of it And of course, I also downloaded a couple of pool loungers. They come in some funky patterns. This one's watermelons. Ooh, cow print. Ooh, so good. This one looks like the rug that we have in game. Some sprinkles. They're a little bit on the alpha side, sort of in the middle of Maxis Match and Alpha, but a little more alpha. But I don't mind because I don't really put them out that often. And these ones are more minimal ones. I absolutely love this green one. And they are by DK Sims. Jumping inside, where should we start first? Let's start with this massive section back here. This is the Tiny Twavelers collection by Felix Andre Sims and Harry CC. They have released the Kishem pack, the bathroom pack, and this is their third collaboration together. It's a bunch of toddler and kid stuff and it's absolutely beautiful. I have started to hang up these swing sets here into my game just on trees and off of little corners of rooms. I also hang that there. It doesn't actually swing, but it does give the illusion that it swings. They come in a few different colors Here's the colors. I love this green one. They gave us four different beds 
two, two toddler beds, which are here at the edge, and two kids' beds. And these are the two different pieces. So you get the actual bedding and then you get the frame. And the frame, of course, you can change the color of that. So the duvet cover changes and there's plain ones and of course patterned versions. We also have a nice lamp right here. We, they come in the three different sizes and they are the lamps of little hot air balloons with different colors. Absolutely gorgeous. Back here, we just have some wall hanging decorations, llama. So that's the jaguar head right here. And then this is a vulture head. Back here also, we have a little bit of a tent. This is for the single bed. It's just purely decoration, so you can plop it over a bed. And they also have a toddler's version and a little bassinet in the bamboo wicker style. Absolutely beautiful. They also, of course, gave a massive dollhouse right here that comes in a few different colors, but I love this pink one. They also gave this seat right here, more of like a director's chair, super cute. I love it a lot. Again, with the different colors and this giraffe light with different colors. This dinosaur also has a bunch of different colors. They basically have the same colors because custom content creators know how to give us the same colors. There's also a little mini version toy right here of that lamp. This is a decoration piece, a little magnifying glass that I just plopped onto a decoration piece that's a changing table. It is gorgeous. It comes in this fresh white color and you can change it to give it more of a worn in look. The ones here at the bottom give a more worn in look by highlighting those little brown details right here. Beautiful. And of course, there is a little mat that also changes colors. Down here, I have a little freezer bunny toy that I just plopped into this slot here. This one right here is a luggage end table. It comes with stickers and without the stickers. So I think it is a great way to decorate the bedside. Here we have a few picture frames and some wall hanging things. This is clearly a flamingo head. Comes in a couple different colors. Here we have a freezer bunny wall standing up version of the one down there. This one is a shelf with a little cartographer hat and it, the plant comes on it and has one slot. Again, comes in the worn out looks, but also a whole ton of fresh looks. We have two different types of paintings. It is the same painting but I separated them just to highlight a few different colors so of course all of them come with a white frame and also a black frame and there's also a wall leaning version of that. Up here I love these two paintings because of the little ties on them. Like look at those ties. Beautiful. They come in a few different patterns all in the same one. So we have a few animal patterns, a few leaf patterns. Look at that, so pretty. Here we have a wall map. I love this one. It has, you know, it shows the different animals, but also the actual earth. And I just, I love this rope hanging detail. It just makes me very excited. This one is a bookshelf in the shape of a tree. Pretty straightforward, that one. This one is the cartographer hat, just a little bit of an accessory. So you can just plop that places. And this is a, carved end table, really, really pretty. Also comes in the different colors. This one is a ottoman. It has some books at the end, comes in a bunch of different colors, which I am always very grateful for. This is Mr. Croc. It doesn't really do much, but it's purely for decoration. And of course we have the activity table in a cartographer style. So it has the director's chair. Over here, we have this zebra. So it's like Blarfy, but a zebra. We have this Mr. Panda doll comes in a few different versions of the bear, but my favorite is the panda. We have these binoculars. That's so purely a decoration piece, but it's a great decoration piece. This is a desk. It gives the illusion that it pops out at the edges because of these bands right here. And this chair is of course not attached to it actually, but it also comes in the different colors that give it the illusion of new and old. So they gave us two tall wardrobes and 
to shorter dresser styles. So this is the carved drawer dresser. It of course comes in the super new colors and of the little bit of a worn out look, but even in the darker colors, you can still tell the details of the different trees and branches and leaves, and I love it. Back here, we have a more traditional drawer. This one is a tall wardrobe, and this is the tall version of the carved drawer. So it's the carved wardrobe. I wish that we had more wardrobes in the game because these make a whole lot of sense in game. Now here, they also gave us a rug. So we got a nice, beautiful rug with a few different patterns and some rich colors. Colors. They gave us a little poof with again some patterns and some plain colors So it's a mix of the two covers of the beds gave us a mirror with a tree on it And they gave us these tent or canopy coverings that I would put like the poof inside or cover Something so it looks like it hangs off of the ceiling here. You can like tuck in the zebra like that, like that. And then of course it comes in a whole bunch of colors a few patterns, not as much, but that's totally fine. And then of course the plain colorings. And they gave us technically eight different types of wallpaper. I have tried to match them as much as possible. So four of them come with the wainscoting and baseboard. And then four of them are the no wainscoting, no baseboard versions of those four. So these are what the different colors look like. I absolutely love these two because they give us some different muted colors for example look at that pink beautiful and of course they give us the pink version with a wainscoting these two are the, the hedge one and then this one is the wall trim version of course here is the red version of that this one is the mural one so they have different ones this one is the monkey one that you can see there look at that that's the monkey one and the pattern is so flawless and seem it's like seamless look at those clouds and of course they have those versions with some wall trim next we have the dino and the dino with a wall trim and this is what the hedge looks like full it's really gorgeous could definitely work for accent walls so i am so so happy and those muted ones oh they're just beautiful for full room colors so that is the entire tiny twavelers set i will again have a link to everything in the description box below if you're interested in any of this stuff i really love these for toddler decorations and just decorate a full-blown child's room and toddler room best thing ever moving on over here i have this diy shower set by ravashin rvsn so basically it is a few pieces that you can customize to make your own DIY shower set. So this is a door piece, of course. And then they have two tile pieces, one tile pieces, a diagonal piece that just tucks into the corner or even just right there. Then these two different shower pieces here. So the set is called Keep It Clean and these are the two different shower heads. They even have a backsplash of some brick that just tucks against the wall. So that's our first set by Ravachine. We have a lot more sets by them, starting with the Metropolitan set. So it's not Metropolitan, it's Metropolitan. It's all of these dog stuff right here. So they gave us two new doggy doors, a small doggy door, a bigger doggy door, this dog bath. This made me want to download this whole set just for this one piece. And we have a little toy bin, food bowls over here, and a big doggy bed. They also have a newspaper toy. We are going to do the social distancing desk and vanity set. These are all different pieces that you can build your own custom desk. So I did a wraparound desk here. And there's two different types of corner pieces, one with a leg, one without the leg. Of course, these two are the same version, one with the legs. These are wall pieces. To make it realistic, you would have to attach it to a wall to make sense and these ones are a standalone desk and also of course a little bit of a stool so these are the main colors with just some of the knob color changing there's also this mirror that's just a straight up mirror so you could literally just straight up stack it that way and then these lights just go around the mirror for decoration this computer here is also from that same set it's just a normal computer but i really like how it looks because of that curved base the next set that we have from ravishin is the procrastination set here's what it all looks like if you go here 
into the catalog so it's called procrastination so basically we have decoration items from nifty knitting and a few more items they separated all of these different items and it's just gorgeous like they were able to separate it and add in all the colors of course so you have the different versions of the outside rim with all of the different prints and sizes i separated them here as well basically you can put all of the same sizes together and then just get rid of everything if that's what the vibe you were going for. There's also these carts here that came with Nifty Knitting and is basically empty carts and I just added a few items to it. They even added a little yarn ball and needles poking through as decoration. I put one on the cart. I also put another one there on the floor. Even comes with some yarn rolls. They kind of also look like rolls of thread as well because thread does come in these huge sizes. This is a little bottle of buttons, some soft measuring tapes, a little container of just needles, a container of paint brushes, and a container of just stationery. And I really really love this cart and I added it to a few houses in my own gameplay just because it was a very nice detail to add in sort of a craft room so I really like this small set. And one of the last things that we have from Ravachine is this couch set. So it's called the Sofa So Good sectional set. It is absolutely beautiful. First we have these two coffee tables. We have a nice small round one and a rectangular one of course. Comes in the same colors as each other so they all match. And my favorite part of this sectional is that you can build this whole set yourself. So each piece is individual and they just clip onto each other. Oh, that was weird go so they just clip onto each other they move together there's a corner piece oh whoa <laughs> that's not supposed to happen and then of course there's this corner piece as well i made a smaller version over here to showcase the two-piece version of each edge and then of course just the single version so that's my last thing from ravishing and i absolutely adore that one i have a few shelves it's called the missed opportunity shelf number 83 by maho sims and it's just a few shelves from nifty knitting that is absolutely gorgeous on its own and you can even string it like that make it look like they're hanging off from each other really pretty over here i have a a kitchen set by Harry CC. This is the Halcyon. This goes on top of a fridge so you just tuck a fridge over like that. Kitchen cabinets, kitchen counters and islands. They come with these little vertical line details as well. And they come in of course some beautiful colors just absolutely gorgeous here is the back of that it, that's where the matching stripes come from and of course the other side is just plain. And the last thing that I have is by Illogical Sims. So this is their Eco Lifestyle add-on pack. It is a massive pack with so many different items and I'm going to start over here with these shelves. So they took the shelf that came in game and made a smaller version that's one tile, a smaller version that's two tile, a same height version that's one tile, and of course this last one here. This last one here is just a plain version of the original shelf, which the original shelf looked like this. So they just extended the shelves and moved around some of the clutter items that were on the shelves, but absolutely beautiful. Great idea, I really like that a lot. And then they took the couches and made a love seat version, a one seater version, and then took all the tables and made dining room tables. So this is the coffee table that has been turned into a dining table. Coffee table into dining table, and then the accent table as well into a one tile dining table table. These chairs are also from that one pack. So this one is actually the original version right here and this one is the custom content version. This one is a little taller if you look at them here. So they it does look more like a dining room table seat. So this one would not attach to the dining room table because it's just an accent chair. Then also we have this seat. It's the square peg seat. It looks like a puzzle piece. It really looks homemade but 
you know, gives off the vibes that Eco Lifestyle was definitely going for. So that's that seat. And of course there is, this is the original version as a armchair accent seat. They also separated some of the plants. I put this plant on top here. They separated the three plants as well here and over here. This is the fireplace. So the difference with this fireplace is actually that it doesn't have the side piece over here. This is the original for reference. So they just removed the two shelves that were attached to it to make it look a little simpler. And then of course they made this bed, which is just basically a simplification of the original bed. So they just changed up the frame at the edge there. You can see the difference when I just do that. And then they created some shelves and of course separated the paintings into wall paintings. They took the paintings that came from the game, separated that into different wall paintings. They all come in as one painting in the catalog and you can pick different swatches to get the different paintings, but they can all go in the wall now. They also added in that painting, which is super cool. Not expecting that, but really like it. And more importantly, they created some shelves. So they took this planter that came in the game and separated it into two separate pieces. And they also created some square individual shelves that come in a couple different colors and created three different items that you can decorate. So these two have plants in them and this one is just a long version without plants. And of course they separated all the lights. There are the two lights that came in the game, the more industrial looking one and the rope one. And then of course there's the round one, but for this DC pack, it came with five different lights and these are the lights that it came with. So two rope ones that can now be separated and then three of the industrial kind. And then of course there is the burlap couch that now got turned into a love seat and then a smaller version of the coffee table and I really like the coffee table because of those legs look at those legs beautiful and then of course the plants again got separated here and they are gorgeous before I forget I do have a few mods to show you first of all I'm going to jump into the section the clip got cut a little short here but basically this is the expandable build by catalog mod and all you have to do is press the tilt -a key and it will expand the rows of the build by catalog from two to about six or five depending on how you angle it and just to remove that you just press the tilt -a key one more time and it will be gone from that okay and another mod that i wanted to show you by twisted mexi is the tool mod so the tool mod is something i am very very new to but i really have been wanting to download this mod for so so long basically you go to an item let's do i don't know this dog toy so you hold down shift left click and click on tool my favorite thing is definitely the moving of it or the toggle active object so it's gonna glow green like that and I'm gonna just put it there see that it clips through the wall because I don't want to click on the shelf because if I click on the shelf then the shelf becomes the new object so I'm just gonna like see I clicked on that that's now the new object so it's very useful for items that you want to move around and then you just have to click it again to move it. This mod only works in live mode because you can now move it outside of the lot. I will link the video for the tool mod that Twisted Mixie made down in the description box as well. For example, I just selected the skating rink. Now I can literally move it wherever I would like and the skating rink will be there. Move over there, skating rink. Now, even if I click these monkey bars, I can literally just select the monkey bar, move it onto our lot. I also have a mod by Ravishine that turns any desk into a vanity. So if you click on a desk, there will be, oh, I'm still in the tool mod. If you click on the desk without the tool mod being on, it will have all of the vanity options. For example, if I were to click on this mirror, there'd be all of these options. But now if I just straight up click on a desk, they will have the practice speech options, change appearance, freshen up. They will have these options on a desk. And that is the last mod that I have besides the tool mod and the expandable builds by mod. 
I will again have everything linked down in the description box below if you're interested in downloading any of these items. But other than that, that's everything for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out that link in the description box below. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.